Hello viewers, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the slash clear command. So this is how you use it. First you have the slash clear, then your player selector, which is discussed in my command block basics video, which I highly recommend watching before watching any of my other command tutorial videos. Then we have the item, which I'm in 1.8, so I'm going to be using the 1.8 item IDs, then data, which is the block data, or item data. Then your max count, which can be zero, if you want to take zero or something. Or you can have 16 or 32, or however many you want to take from them. And then data tag, which is your NBT tag, or anything descriptive about that item that you want to take. So here I'm going to start with just a basic slash clear command. As you can see, it removed everything from my inventory that I had. It will also remove armor. So the slash clear command, when you perform it from the chat, will remove which, whatever items you have in your inventory that are in yours. Now if you have a player selector, which is mandatory in a command block, then you can use at P, at A, at R, and at E, or just a player name. So if I open up this chest, and here I have stone. If I click this button, it'll clear it and take it from me. Also, I wanted to add that if you just have slash clear and the player selector, it'll remove everything, not just stone. So here, if you add the ID, which is stone, then it will only take the stone away from me. As you can see, I still have the cobblestone in my inventory. Next, I'm going to go through the item data. So, if I open up this chest, and take the stone and granite, and click this button, it'll only take the granite, because I put stone and then one. So, that means granite is, has the ID of stone, but it's one after just the regular stone block. So this here will demonstrate taking a certain number of an item. So here I'm going to take stone, and then I'm going to click this button. It'll take 16 away from me since I specified that here. But say I have a lot of stone, and I say, say 96. and it'll take exactly 96 away from me. So say I have 64 stone, and it's just regular stone, and I click this button. Nothing happens, because I have an NBT tag specified here, so it has to have the display name of blocks. Beware that this is case sensitive, so if you want them to be taken away correctly, it has to exactly match the item name. So I'll have blocks. And then when I click this button, it'll take away 16 of the stone with the display name blocks. Thank you everybody for watching. If you think I left anything out, be sure to mention that in the comments. And also in the comments, if you like, you can leave suggestions for future content. And in case you're wondering what's back here, this is a cool little contraption I made with heads and armor stands. So it makes it look like all their heads are spinning around. So these are a couple of my friends and other skins that I found. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment.